Breaking news. After a 25-minute delay due to technical difficulties, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced on Twitter's audio platform Wednesday that he is entering the Republican presidential primary, setting up a clash with the current GOP frontrunner, former President Donald Trump. I am running for President of the United States to lead our great American comeback, he said at an event with Elon Musk, the founder of Twitter, and tech investor David Sachs. However, we recognize that our country is heading in the wrong direction. We can see it for ourselves. We can feel it in our bones. DeSantis, re-elected in a landslide last fall and captured the attention of a party eager to move on from recent defeats, opened a new chapter in his campaign to face President Joe Biden in 2024 with those remarks. DeSantis entered the Republican primary later than other candidates, but he began his campaign with more campaign cash and poll support than anyone except Trump. In his opening remarks to the audience, DeSantis painted a bleak picture of a country he claims is heading in the wrong direction under Biden and urged Republicans to rally behind him. During the question-and-answer session, DeSantis again declined to attack Trump directly. DeSantis' decision to share the stage with Musk, who bought Twitter last year and has a rabid following of mostly right-wing supporters, was an unusual choice for a presidential candidate. It spoke to his desire to win over right-wing activists who are becoming more common on the site. DeSantis recently came out against congressional action to limit cryptocurrency, a favorite topic of the men hosting the chat. DeSantis also stated that reigning in federal bureaucracies would be a key component of his platform in the future. Then, in his first post-announcement televised interview, he told Fox News that he planned to fire FBI Director Christopher Wray on the first day of his presidency. Much of the discussion also centered on Twitter and its ability to replace so-called legacy media, just minutes after the social media platform failed to handle DeSantis' most crucial moment. While Musk insisted that the technical failure at the start of the planned conversation demonstrated Twitter's strength, the gaffe elicited scorn from DeSantis' opponents. DeSantis aimed Biden in his opening remarks, describing him as the leader of an activist left while suggesting the president is too old to lead. DeSantis made his case to listeners by focusing on his controversial handling of COVID-19 in Florida and his recent clash with Disney, which DeSantis sought to frame as the avatar of bogus corporate wokeness. He then lauded Musk for his leadership at Twitter and dedication to preserving freedom to debate. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such updates.